In today's show, we have a stand-up about the lip-sync battle. And I've got some shocking news for you. Wet weather is ahead. Your weekend looking pretty soggy. I'll have the details coming up in your full forecast. I'm Carson. And I'm Mike. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. If you're interested in the medical field, St. Francis will be hosting a class next Monday at 7. Homecoming is next week, and if you have an outside date, pick up an outside date form in the front office. All forms are due Tuesday. The themes for next week will be I Woke Up Like This on Monday, Visco on Tuesday, Class Colors on Wednesday, America Day on Thursday, and Decade Day on Friday. Sleep in a Box will be held on October 5th this year. Registration forms will be picked up in room W1 and W16. Forms are due September 27th. The Lip Sync Battle is tonight at 7. Emery went to find out more about it. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Cromie to talk about the Lip Sync Battle tonight. So what is it? Okay, well the Lip Sync Battle is one of our first big fundraisers for the school-wide thirst project that Key Club, Stuco, and Interact are sponsoring. And um, we'll have about nine acts, I believe, performing tonight. And um, the cost for it um, is $3. We believe we're gonna have a, kind of a snack option that you can pay $5 and then have snacks as well. But it's $3 to get in if you just wanna go that route. And the main thing with it is that besides, you know, just having a great time, we're trying to raise money for this, this um, idea of, of bringing clean water to the world. We're going to try to raise enough money this year to build a well in a developing country in Africa. And um, one of the big things tonight is that actually members of the Thirst Project International are gonna be there and they're gonna present a couple things about the, about the organization, the project, as well as they're gonna perform a lip sync too with us. So homecoming candidates I believe are performing, at least some of them. Girls Cross Country has a group together. Myself, Mr. Bach, and Mrs. Pringle have a group. There's um, a couple of individual groups, um, Kevin Nguyen, um, a couple other people, and I'm missing some names, but it should be a lot of fun. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, only come out and um, have a good time with us. We need an audience, and we need enthusiasm, and hopefully you'll be entertained. Thanks, Mr. Crummy. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to be there at 7 if you want to attend the show tonight. The Viking Brew is take, taking applications for new members. If you are interested in applying, see Ms. Schaefer in W9 for more information. FCCLA will be selling cinnamon rolls tomorrow during CALP and passing periods for $2. Tomorrow is the last day Interact will be collecting aluminum cans. Make sure to bring your cans. Now over to Carson with the sports after this commercial break. Man, I am having so much fun at the bonfire. But it sure is kind of homecoming bonfire is going to be on September 24th after the soccer game. Hope to see you there. Kind of cold. Ha, ah, that's better. Did you know there's a kickball classic going on Sunday, September 29th, 2019 at the Sealy Middle School football field. There's a complimentary luncheon at 1 o'clock. See Coach Kelly in C3. Teams consist of 8 to 12 members and it's $80 per team. Hope to see you there because it's going to be a blast. The Winter Sports Conditioning Program begins Monday. See Coach Cox, Tinsley, or Kelly for a calendar and details. The volleyball team had their senior night yesterday and went 1-1, one one, beating Emporia and losing to Free State. That's all for sports. Now over to weather with Josh.
Happy Thursday, T. Here's your forecast for today. We're tracking highs once again in the upper 80s to near 90. If we do hit 90, it would be our fifth consecutive day with highs in the 90s, and we're getting towards the end of September. It has been a hot stretch, but the good news is that we do have some relief on the way. So again, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for today, and there is about a 20% chance of an isolated shower. If you see this little green and yellow, even some red blip right there in Jefferson County, that's why we cannot completely rule out an isolated thunderstorm later on today. Now tomorrow, it's again about a 20% chance of rain. You can see some rain in southeastern Kansas. But again, we're not predicting a major washout by any means for your Friday. Better chances for showers and thunderstorms late Friday night into Saturday morning. This is going to be some light rain in northeast Kansas Saturday 8 o'clock. And then we might catch a break later in the day. But here we go by 7 o'clock Saturday evening. Some more intense thunderstorms are possible. And this is why the Storm Prediction Center has outlined much of northeast Kansas in a slight risk for severe weather, large hail and damaging winds are possibilities Saturday afternoon and into Saturday evening. More rain is likely Saturday night into Sunday morning. And by the time all is said and done, most spots will likely end up with one to two inches with locally higher amounts possible. So yeah, a wet weekend is in store and here's your SV TV seven day forecast. You can see the isolated storms possible over the next couple of days. Better rain chances Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday. Fall starts on Monday with 80 degrees for our high as we dry out. Now I can Carson back to you. That's all for today Vikes. We'll be back here tomorrow with a cheese challenge. Why is there a cheese challenge tomorrow, Carson? Because it's queso day. Didn't you know that? No, I didn't know that. We'll see you tomorrow, Vikes. See you.